Everything is covered in ice right now and the puppy is attacking my feet. Puppy, no. Naughty puppy. <laughs> Everything is covered in ice. As you see, this is the barbed wire fence. It's covered in ice. Everything is covered in ice. The trees are covered in ice. All the bushes around our house are like frozen, like you kick them. And it, and it, when you kick the bush, it seriously like almost like crumbles apart. Like if you froze a bag of spinach. So yeah, everything is frozen. The weather is even calling for six inches of snow. So crazy, if it snows again, that's twice. And that's crazy for Texas. <laughs> anyway, that's crazy for where we are. So yeah, that's gonna be, whew. I'm like excited, but it's like, wow, it's gonna be so cold and wet. And even the round pen's like soaking wet right now. I don't think I can really work with the horses that much. Watch, it's, we're gonna have like 30 degree weather and then one day it's gonna be like 90 degrees. So I like, and then the weather will be like, welcome to summer. It's like we totally missed out on spring or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> What'd you think about the storm last night? Was it crazy? Was it crazy? Oh, you want me to itch your neck? Oh yeah, I feel so good, huh? The storm was even so crazy that my dad's truck alarm went off in the middle of the night. Well, I guess it was morning because it was like three o'clock. So I was like, beep, beep, beep for the longest time. So then I just got up and I saw the lights flashing. And that was, yeah, that was crazy. But anyways, everything's doing well. It's just cold, wet, and then, wow, that's the cutest little bird ever. What's up in her? He's so cute. <laughs> I'm a lot closer than the camera puts it as it's freezing cold out today it's probably about like 18 degrees right now in a couple days it's gonna drop down into the single di digits it's gonna get down to like three degrees or even like one degree some some of the weather is even saying am I even close to like zero degree so it's gonna be freezing cold so we got all the heat lamps set up here we got an extra tarp on our little chicks kennel in there but I don't know if you can see but we got a heat lamp in there for them we got it all set up in there for them and then over here we have another heat lamp for when the chickens roost they can stay nice and warm because it is so cold and I know some places where it snows all the time the animals kind of just get used to it where our animals aren't used to this cold so they will die <laughs> if they do not have the right warmth and set up so we got the extra hay and all that and we gave Evie a heat lamp as well just in case she delivers. Everything is frozen. Chicken's water is frozen. Absolutely everything is frozen. Are you cold? <laughs> Are you cold, girl? I gotta break their trough. It's ice. It's a completely big ice block, isn't it? Hi. Hey, babies. I tried to work Chloe a little bit yesterday, but it's just super hard because it's so cold and everything's muddy and icy and they have the extra zoomies because it's like freezing cold and they're like so frisky. So it's kind of hard, but we're just gonna have to make do for this cold week here, a really cold week. I was just walking down here down the driveway, I've got my stick to break the water trough for Bucky, Precious, and Beauty, and Posey's laying in the field. I think she's dead. You gotta be kidding me. Not again. <laughs> I'm go check. Man, this weather just messes up those Jersey cows. I'll just break the trough and then I'll go check it out. It's 
been a couple days and it's super late at night so I am super sorry about the lighting it's absolutely so terrible I am so sorry but I'm kind of just now feeling like like I need to film something I do not like filming things and explaining things that like are sad and stuff like I just don't like it and it always takes me like forever just to like find what to say it's like super hard for me and the phone just went off sorry about that too <laughs> everything's a mess so Posey died a couple days ago and it's so so very sad and I always have such a hard time trying to present this and try to tell y'all like what happened it's just super hard for me it's just like super sad and I always just don't know like what to say and then I always think this in my mind like isn't there like something better that I could have done to help save her to and you just keep thinking and thinking but there was really nothing else that we could have done her death was like due to the cold weather just the instant cold weather and drop of temperature because it was just like 60 degrees and then all of a sudden it drops down to like 20 like it just messes up with the animals bodies because it's just so severe so yeah that's what happened but that's like the biggest thing that I have learned from being on a farm is that there's life and then there's death and it's not like always happy all the time and it's hard because you want things to just to always be so happy but then something happens like this and it's so devastating but it's just part of life and yeah I don't want to explain this like too long and keep going on and dragging on about it like I want to move on from this but yeah I just wanted to tell y'all what happened and I just want to be real with y'all and tell y'all what happened I just I didn't want to like not say anything like I wanted to share and I know it can be super hard to like understand and especially for like some people that don't live this kind of lifestyle like it just seems super sad and it is super sad but it's kind of like just what happens when you live this type of lifestyle raising animals and being on a homestead but anyways yeah I just wanted to share that and yeah it's been super super freezing cold out tonight it's supposed to be getting down to like 15 degrees and we're supposed to be getting like five inches of snow so we're all kind of excited about that to see snow again which is crazy because down here people say that it like never snows like it snows like ever every like five to six years and so we've gotten snow like twice this year so yeah so we're all kind of like super excited so yeah alrighty well that's all I wanted to say I am enjoying the fire right now it's super warm it's so nice although the lighting is terrible it's super nice and warm but anyways alrighty well I hope you all have a blessed night It's now snowing this morning. It was all hail, but as you see, it's like icy and then you get like some snow that's starting to come down. I think this is all hail right here. It's all hail, but it's starting to get all white all around here. There's a lot right here. I think this is like all hail, it's all icy. It's all super icy. But we're out here once and again. This is our third time coming out today. We got to break waters. And then we gotta do the chores too, so we also have to feed them. But the snow is coming down. I don't know if y'all can see it in the air, but it's like barely coming down. So we gotta come out here. I might need a hammer to break the waters. Let's see, everything's frozen. What do you guys think? It's icy. Should I break it up?
Look at all the ice that I got from the pig's water. That's what I got a couple hours ago out of there. It's just everything's frozen and they even have their little pond that we try to keep full, but it is completely frozen. Oosh. It's all frozen. Let's try to open it, crack it up a little bit. There we go. Look how thick the ice is. That's how thick it is. That's freezing in the animal's water. It's like two and a half, three inches thick. So that's what we're trying to break from the animal's water. Do both of your feet so you spread out the way. All right, ready? Let's All see right. if we can hold them. <laughs> All right, no hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, have it. Go on the edge first. I did it. <laughs> Uh oh. I see some signs of cracking. I want, wow, look at that. I, want my that I wonder how thick the ice no. is. My I want off right now. <laughs> Slide. Woo! It's so icy. Three eggs. Pretty good considering the weather. Mark and I are down here. We're taking care of the cows and the horses. We're hitting all the ice out of the troughs and the buckets. And then I got some grain here. I'm gonna give them to the two calves that we have in the barn. That's their little beef bull over there. And then that is Rosie, Posey's calf. So they're in here so they have shelter. And then they have a whole bunch of hay and then we've been giving them grain every evening. switching on the water here so that we can give the horses some more water. Okay, we just finished the chores for the night. We'll probably have to come out one more time before dark just to make sure all the waters are unfrozen, but as far as the feeding goes, everyone's happy. Thank you.